Currently sat in Mallorca, 28 degrees, loving life right now. Um, just been reading some of the ex extracts from David Ornstein. Some people call this guy the Oracle. Um, I think he's a puppet, but there we go, that's a different story. Um, what I will say is that I've seen a lot of people today defending um, Ozil and Mustafi and Sanchez. Yeah, and rightly so. At the end of the day, these three players all wanted out, and Ormstein's confirmed that. And Bellerin, sorry, Bellerin as well. So there's four players there that wanted out this summer. Um, he's tweeted about that today with with a link and and all the full extracts from his thing are on his Twitter page. Um, but he's basically said that them four players wanted to leave Arsenal this summer, um, speci specifically. Bellerin, Sanchez and Mustafi. He never really sort of singled out Mesut Ozil, but the fact that Ozil hasn't signed a new contract and hasn't had any discussion since March, he said, um, would suggest that he wants out as well. Um, if you add into that the fact that Olivier Giroud was sort of flirting with a move to Everton earlier in the transfer window as well, all is not well in the Arsenal camp right now. Um, a lot of people I've seen have been slagging him off, um, Ornstein, slagging him off, saying that he don't know what he's talking about. Um, these are the same people that when he drops some transfer news, absolutely jizz their pants all over it about, oh, he's the oracle, he's this. But then as soon as he drops something negative about the club, it's a case of, oh, he's lying. Well, he's not lying, and at the end of the day, all is not well at the football club. Um, in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, the players are all against each other. I think there's certain players that are singling out other players. There's certain players that are favourites of the manager and they know they're favourites of the manager. And they play up to that. And no matter what happens, they will always believe in the manager. Now, at the end of the day, as fans, I said in my previous video about whether a boycott will work, etc., etc. Now, in my opinion, I think that this season we're going to see more than any other season players coming out against the manager. I think that they're going to come out into the media. Um, he's come out today. I've seen a clip today. I don't know whether it was today or whether he recorded it previously. Um, but he was saying that Arsenal fans should unite. You know, um, a negative fan base is not going to help, etc., etc. Basically, what he's saying is accept what it is and back the team. Now, yeah, some fans will do that, the blinded sheep that can't see how shit our transfer window was and how shit we've been for the last 10 years. Now, me personally, I've heard him come out with that for years. Oh, you've got to back the team, you know, we've made mistakes, but we're all pushing in the right direction. You know, at the end of the day, we're not going to win games if fans are against us. Um, at the end of the day, at the Emirates Stadium is his fortress, okay? Now, any leader and any dictator that has their little comfort zone is going to feel safe in their comfort zone. So, what do you do? You try and knock them out of their comfort zone, which is exactly what's about to happen to this guy. And I think the players are fully on board as well. Like we said, Hector Bellerin wanted to go to Barcelona. His family have already gone there. Mesut Ozil can come out with enough statements as he wants about you should support us, you should back us. Bruv, you ain't even anywhere near close to signing a new contract. So stop getting your PR team to tweet out shit. Yeah, either sign a new contract or fuck off. Okay, Olivier Giroud, props to him, fair play to him. He said he wanted to stay and fight for his place. So I got a bit of respect for the guy, do you know what I'm saying? He might not be the best player in the world, but he actually wants to stay and fight. Okay. Um, Mustafi. Mustafi, from what we heard last week, was full on leaving, full on rousing the dressing room. Um, if you add that into the Aaron Ramsey and Koscielny story that came out last week about Ramsey called Koscielny a shit captain, like I said, all is not well in the camp. Now, we go into the Bournemouth game on Saturday with 
a team that ain't happy with a fan base that are fuming and a manager saying, oh, well, let's all stick together. Nah. We've gone past sticking together, okay? If you add into that the fact that Alexis Sanchez was on the verge of joining Man City and clearly wants out, then all is not well. Now, I do fully expect us to beat Bournemouth, and that's no disrespect to them. I think they're a fantastic team, and I think they've got a great young manager. Um, in my opinion, I think he'll be a great England manager one day. Okay, but in typical Arsenal fashion, when everything goes against us, we normally pull out a result. So we'll go and bash Bournemouth up, Bournemouth up and all these flip-flops uh, go, oh yeah, Wenger's a god again. Then we've got Chelsea away. Okay, so I'm sort of writing off the Bournemouth game because I expect us to win. The next major test for us is in two weeks against Chelsea. Okay, so let's see how much Wenger's drummed it into these players and into the fans about stick together. Let's see if they stick together and turn up and put a result in. Anyway, that's my little two pennies worth. I'm going to go and enjoy some more cocktails and um, leave you in peace. I'll see you for my preview of Bournemouth in a couple of days. Later, peeps. Mm -hmm.